welcome back to the channel so we know our coach for the game versus nigeria and despite a lot of displeasure being shown on social media and in the videos i posted yesterday uh, this is what we have been presented with but henry asante Chum, the communications director of the ghana football association has sought to give some clarity on certain questions some of you asked in the comments box uh, concerning the fact that, that this is an interim position for Otoado. So does it mean uh, that the Ghana Black Stars will be taking over uh, by Chris Hutton no matter the results versus Nigeria in March? Uh, does it mean Chris Hutton is really the man in charge about Otoado due to familiarity? Is the one being put in charge now? What is the whole plan moving forward? What is the bigger picture we have not seen yet? Uh, there was a composition for a new management committee uh, which still included some members in there harry asante Chum has given reasons for that he answered the question on who will take over and unfortunately many of you might not like his answer it uh, doesn't look good for chris hutton moving forward he talked about a plethora of things including remuneration and apparently it looks like the minister of youth and sports is yet to approve on this so why did the fa come out to make an announcement he spoke with angel fm's uh, sadiq adams sports obama as you might popularly know him uh, we have segmented this video into different chapters where he answers separate questions i'll take you through them but you can skip through the segment and find the answer to the question that probably was bothering you as usual subscribe if you have not uh, click on the notification bell to get more updates so owing to what happened last night we now have a technical advisor and then a technical director in mr bernard leppard a lot of you were asking what is the difference between the two of them why do we have a technical director and a technical advisor honestly i feel that there are too many chefs in the kitchen the ghana black stars for this game in particular masu didi dramani who in many people's opinion should even be the head coach in the interim right now because of his uh, capabilities and his, his pedigree it's quite interesting why all these people are being assembled for the game versus nigeria still we have that issue of not having a long-term plan for our football and it's interesting uh, the reasons some of them he gave here without much ado let's get right into it and uh, first of all henry asante Chum sought to explain uh, how otoado as the head coach was reached for some time now uh, uh, no secret sir President Sket, and Tony Bafo, a two coin, a different Ghana, a Germania, Germany. Um, according to now, two years ago, they went with the technical director of the GNC, which is um, Mr. Bernard Lepe, in Tinipa Mianseng, and I call Germany. Um, the first reason, and I was able to tell you they call Germany, no, was to speak to Borussia Dortmund. Um, Borussia Dortmund before Otto Ebeye Milo assistant coach, you know, you know, more, you know, some form of agreement said on the release Otto Ado during international uh, break. Then you know, over bar now over boy Milo, I am a Juma. But over here during the Afcon, they did not allow him and as they approve his departure. Fortunately, and come on, you know, echo ye. Um, the foremost reason was that after sacking Milo, we had only seven weeks or so to the, our next match against Nigeria. So, would be an entirely new person, every team, not anymore. The possibility is only enough time before your game against um, um, Nigeria, no, a bit to me, a hard dream. It is, you need Dortmund, it didn't come away, you know. Indeed, we also needed to speak to Otto. And or two muse or beba abesum nemai. Um then the discussion of um who to work with him also came up. But in between time no, na um president any never be brief didn't come up. Um we have spoken to Didi Dramani, but of course Didi wouldn't have a problem. But I was only the employers, a year right to dream a casa. Um we have spoken to other people, I mean, per se, once the job has been given to this four, I mean, per se, other names, I remember up. It is um, Otto Ejitumu, no? then he also needed to now speak to the various individuals himself. 
um me to me as a soupy say otowado any chris hilton a din komo ah omo din komo ah next week on the sign as she are to our komo dt and also uh me to me as a soupy say um after this appointment he has come up with a planner or be visiting some players in the coming days um i started i engage you more ahead of of nigeria match but what comes in as someone with international exposure um otowado himself has also been with the team already creating with the lot of experience and then didi dramani also comes on board as somebody who is going to combine the local knowledge and then the international knowledge into um after considering all the factors you now this is how esco no i settle on the next technical team up on the manager yeah black stars now against nigeria he had him there talking about how the head coach of the ghana black stars was decided on and the exco members met and they decided that uh, he will be the next one in charge mostly based on the fact that he is familiar with the team yes the team of the Ghana Black Stars. That is why he was placed in charge of the team. Well, uh, we'll see about that. Hotoado was announced as the head coach of the Ghana Black Stars. According to communication director also, this is a short-term plan. Let's have a listen to what he had to say when asked whether this was uh, something that will be changed after the qualifiers in March or it will be something we will have to stick to. The press statement, it is categorically stated uh, a, a team I have put together for the two matches against Nigeria. Now, after the decision to fire Milo, we needed to come up with a short, medium and long-term plan. Now, the short-term plan, and then the American Church, you need someone yeah. who has full knowledge of the team to take over. After the two matches, then you go into your medium-term and your long-term. Your medium term, they say, after the two matches, if you qualify for the World Cup, over over eight months from March until November to prepare. Again, 2023 Afcon qualifiers will be in June, and you would have about four months or so to prepare. Then your medium term plan will kick in. You have a lot of time in front of you to take a decision. Look at all the options available and then go into finding a long-term replacement for mm. for the team okay it is just the amino kasai idea this decision is a short-term decision so you heard him there so this is a short-term plan a stopgap uh, for that game versus nigeria uh, sports obama went on to ask him uh, mr hilton will he be the next head coach if otowado is now you have confirmed that he will be the one that will be taking the post in the interim will hilton be the next head coach of the ghana black stars uh, well his response was quite interesting let's have a listen to him not just say yeah but we read here definitely uh chris hilton never be head coach no i i don't think that was discussed in the meeting what was discussed in the meeting is what has been put out um and what has been published okay. um you need any we are not in the position today to determine what will happen tomorrow. Today, we have taken a decision that affects today. The ABC or channel, it drew up. I think another decision will be taken. There you have it. Chris Hutting is not guaranteed of the job. He says, after the March games, uh, this is what will happen. They will now convene again and then see the way forward to get a coach on a permanent basis. And I have to say, this is where I have a problem with. So why can you not have a coach for the long term and you are waiting for the interim to finish his job with a match game, then you decide. My own is that, and I've said it here on this channel, that the plan is that should Otuado qualify us for the World Cup, he will then use that as a way to get him into the permanent seat as the head coach. It's as simple as that and that is the FA's plan. It has always been their plan to do this. and. I think probably that is what they want to do. From what he is saying now, that is exactly what they want to do with the position of uh, Otoado as the interim boss. He's not the interim boss for nothing. He is the one that will take over eventually should he be successful in March.
and if you look at the description of Otoado in the FA's release they gave yesterday, my goodness, Otoado is a trainer scout officially on the Borussia Dortmund website. He's a trainer scout, but they say he's an assistant coach for Borussia Dortmund. In those hierarchy of those in charge at Dortmund, Otoado is Sith. So, and a trainer scout stated there. So, assistant coach might have it a bit skewed there. I think the FA really have an agenda here and it's quite clear that they are pushing it really, really hard. And now the coaches are not in town. It's obvious. Who will be here monitoring the players when all four coaches that have been named, none of them is in town? This is what he had to say concerning that. Oh, um, at the end of the day, I think we still have a coach who is attached to the team Organa, and I'm talking about Richard Kingston. He is still um, the, the goalkeeper's um, trainer. He's here in Ghana. He said, "Now, Sunday, cry me because he has in the Olympics, Michiano um, um, or Stadium." And he, yes, these three coaches are not in Ghana. I'm saying I work on some of the penalty, but me yes, sure say. So you heard him there. Uh, four coaches are not in town. He says Richard Olile Kingston will be the one who will be liaising with them and monitoring players here. Uh, but we're made to understand that the whole Black Stars technical team under Milovan Rajivak had been dissolved. So why is Olile still at post or he has been maintained? Why wasn't it mentioned in the press release? A lot of things are not clear and I have to say the FA really, really should do better. It's as if they are still not learned anything from the disgrace we suffered in the African Cup of Nations. We do not have a proper football structure still. Even after that embarrassment, the worst ever performance in the African Cup of Nations, our people choose not to learn. And it's obvious why many people are saying they are pushing for to add They want someone they can control. I don't think they can control Otoado, but what can possibly happen is if Otoado tries to be quote unquote stubborn and not play quote unquote their players, they might remind him that we are the ones that put you here. And I hope Otto will be strong in standing his ground when such quote unquote threats are made because it is a threat. You cannot put it any other way if something like that happens. I hope Otto will pick players based on merit. Uh, not everyone's favorite because Chris Hutting is better than him. There's no denying that he has more experience, more pedigree. It's being said here that Otuado will meet with Chris Hutting also uh, in London. He is on his way to meet with him and they discuss and talk with some players, including uh, Mohamed Salisu and others, which Harry Asantichum was not at liberty uh, to tell uh, Sports Obama. Uh, they will meet and have a meeting concerning the Black Stars and the way forward. Uh, they have to talk about money also, and they talk about the financial remuneration. This is where things got quite interesting, and I found out something fishy had been done in the announcement of the next Black Stars coach. Have a listen for yourself. First engagement was to receive the green light set on Beye Ejumano, which indeed, fortunately, Omunina Adiatu from Chris to Otto to um, Didi Dramani, Omunina Ajiatum se Umbeya Ejumano. The other discussions, of course, which is very, very important. Otome Maobi contract, Didi Didi se Brabeye two matches, me Mao contract se se anase se. But indeed, for Otto, he has a, a running contract with the FA, even though not on your head coach. But yeah, Mano, um, something to show there, his services have been engaged with the FA as an assistant coach. We will do the same for Didi, we will do the same for Maxwell, we will do, sorry, we will do the same for George Burton and we will do the same for Chris Hilton. That discussion will continue further. And then the way I name up by, and I was saying, you we are a bricky side communication, you know, but there will be further discussions with the ministry about on monetary rewards, any other terms of, of engagement. Uh, no, you know, I'm going to but I mean, of course, the ministry and the government would definitely have to come in. And see whatever. But, but Harry, why do you put? Had, why did the FA them. put out? Um, uh, because once you publish, it means uh, you're official. But if 
the government has not approved their their financial uh, i mean remuneration and other things are uh, consideration uh. it means why was the release put out because obi and him say what tia say we are the publisher say obama every single decision between the fa and government is official all right as far as these names are concerned but of course, there are other issues that will be ironed out. I am known to me from Mabonti. I know that make us say between okay, the okay. FA and the ministry, you know, even seeing Kunyanya ironing out all those differences, and then we will communicate back to the people. You heard it there. It's quite clear the ministry have not been in the loop. But let's have a listen to the same Henry Asante Chum a couple of days ago talking about the process needed to appoint a new Black Stars head coach. The plan now. The president is um, expected back home today. Mm -hmm. um, once he arrives, he will submit his report to the executive council um, together with Tony Bafo. Um, I'm not too sure if Dortmund has granted approval, if Otto has also agreed to come. That um, would depend on the report that the president submits to the executive council, after which we would engage the sector ministry. And the sector ministry, because they take the ultimate responsibility in terms of the expenses and going forward, uh, funding for the team. He said the FA president will come down, there will be an ESCO meeting, they will decide and relay the information to the sports ministry. But then, this is the case where they did not relay the information to the sports ministry before coming out to the press release. They came out to the press release before relaying the information to the sports ministry. Well, he wasn't quite clear as to whether they called them or not, but it's clear they did not consult them for their consent and signing off because they are the ones that will pay. Uh, concerning remuneration as well, nothing concrete has been given. Why is the head coach of the Black Stars in the interim a trainer scout in another team? If we really respect ourselves, we will pick someone who is readily available and has no other commitment. All the, the people that have been called, George Watting, Masu Didi Dramani, uh, Otoado, they have attachments to other clubs. Why should the head coach of the Black Stars have any other attachments than the Black Stars? Why should his attention be moved from the, anywhere than the Black Stars? Do we not respect the Black Stars enough? This is something that I do not seem to get. Why is the head coach of the Black Stars someone who has other engagements with other clubs? They said Doc Mon is still paying his salaries. They have just a, an engagement letter uh, that shows that he's working with the Black Stars, meaning they don't have him 100%, which is why Doc Mon were able to prevent him from coming to the African Cup of Nations. Your head coach could not even make it to the African Cup of Nations in an assistant position. And you're giving him the head coach role based on what exactly? so many questions need to be answered but it's clear the fa wanted otoado they've got otoado i hope he does well but we all have our reservations and we all have our own minds about what will happen next in the fa the fa have to think about the good of ghana football it's funny but don't you think if the football structure is done well and we are winning trophies left, right, center. They will get more money than any supposed or purported money they get from elsewhere. When things are done right and everything is going on well and Ghana is successful, will we not have enough money to live lavishly on? Food for thought for those in charge. Don't you think that will be better for Ghana football? Will we not be in a better position if that is the case? Maybe because that process is long, arduous, and tough and, and difficult. So, yeah, they'll move with the one with least resistance and least difficult. So, yeah, you might not blame them 100%. But the truth is, we need to do better for our football. I'll leave you the last uh, video or the last audio on him talking about the management committee and its composition. Uh, the Black Stars Management Committee has been composed. Alaji Grusa, one of the new members in there, he explains what each member brings to the table, but some were still maintained. The management committee that sat down uh, to bring back Milovan Rajivak, some members are still surviving uh, from in there. Uh, so that has been it for today. Looking to bring some clarity on the Black Stars appointments that were announced yesterday. You've seen the questions answered. What more questions do you have? Probably I might be able to get them. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. The last audio on what the new management committee brings to the table. 
I mean, the first consideration is that the chairman must be a member of the executive council. Inti, almost two soon to into no, a koto vice president Mark Adoso. Um, Kwesiajiman, with his experience and also the role he played in the previous one, um, has been retained. And uh, Sami Kufoso so has been retained. And of course, the decision to bring in um, Mr. Uh, Kenel Damwa, any Kwame Ofusu Bamfo, any Alaji Gruza, uh, these are three people are almost also more experienced in different facets of the industry, almost also between the Omunim, the any knowledge, Abeka, a Jumedia Management Committee, you know, it, you know. Once again, there were other options, but in the end, these were the names are more a settle on.